Hello and welcome to this new Animal Wise video. Today we are looking at the Tibetan Mastiff. The Tibetan Mastiff is also known as the Dokyai, although some breeders also differentiate another type known as a Tsangkyai. They are one of the oldest oriental breeds and were first mentioned in history by Aristotle, who lived between 384 and 322 BC. They are working dogs formerly used by nomadic Himalayan shepherds as well as protectors of Tibetan monasteries. When Tibet was invaded by China in the 1950s, these dogs practically disappeared. Fortunately, some of these dogs were later found in India and Nepal being used to bring the breed back. Evidence suggests that the Tibetan Mastiff is related to certain mountain dogs such as the Bernese and the Great Pyrenees. Their characteristic bark is unique and they are a highly valued breed. The Tibetan Mastiff stands out for being strong and powerful, large in size, very robust and imposing. Their breed standard describes them as being solemn and serious in appearance with a majestic strength. Their coat can be with or without markings, and colours include bluish grey, various shades of red, solid black or black and tan. White stars on the chest and some white feet markings are accepted. This breed has a minimum height of 61cm in females and 66cm in males, with no real maximum height. The Tibetan Mastiff is an independent dog, but very loyal and protective of the family to which they belong. Although they are not overly attached, they enjoy the presence of family and will not hesitate to protect them. On the other hand, they are often distrustful of strangers. They usually get along with other dogs and animals, especially other large dogs. This is, of course, dependent on proper socialization when young. This dog has a tendency to bark due to their history as guard dogs, and they are not recommended for first-time owners. The Tibetan Mastiff requires regular coat care. They need brushed two or three times a week, except during shedding season when daily brushing is recommended. Although they can live in an apartment if it is large enough, it's much better for them to have access to a garden. Whether living in an apartment or house, regular and extensive walks are essential. This breed adapts very well to cold and temperate climates. However, they are not usually comfortable in hot, humid or tropical climates. We need to bear in mind this large breed size means they need larger accessories and the daily food requirements means their care needs can be expensive. As we have commented on previously, this dog needs a responsible owner experienced in handling and training large dogs. An inexperienced owner will require time with a canine educator or trainer even before adoption. It's essential to begin their socialization early as a puppy, especially with bite inhibition and obedience exercises. Even puppies will soon reach a considerable size, so we need to stop reinforcing behaviors which are undesirable in adulthood, such as climbing up on people. Once the dog already understands basic orders, we can start more advanced ones as well as other exercises. Regular reviewing of training on a daily or weekly basis is also essential to ensure safety for themselves and others. For any anomalous or problematic behaviours, going to a specialist will likely be necessary to prevent them. As with virtually all breeds, especially pedigree dogs, the Tibetan Mastiff is susceptible to certain hereditary diseases such as hip dysplasia, hypothyroidism, entropion and various neurological problems. We also need to highlight a characteristic particular to this breed in that females generally only have one heat cycle per year, unlike most canines. To ensure good health of the Tibetan Mastiff, they must carry out their vaccination schedule, deworming program and regular veterinary visits. The latter should be once every 6 to 12 months. This can help them to have a life expectancy of between 11 and 14 years. Please share your Tibetan Mastiff experiences in the comments below. Like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more to come. We'll see you next time.